so excited about this year's school election. Yeah, me too. You know what? I've been working on the programs I wish to initiate and the changes I want to implement. Have you noticed that I haven't even touched my button for the past few days? There are so many giveaways like ice cream and all kinds of snacks have been added out. Really? And have you seen the posters and the shirts that the candidates have been wearing? I'm sure they cost a fortune. But you know what? In the end, it's all just about popularity. I mean, who cares about the platform, the changes we want to initiate when they just care about the ice cream? Who wants the better giveaway? At the end of the day, the students are just vote for the popular students. Hey, I see Miss Phil coming in. Hi, Miss Phil. Hi, Miss Phil. Hello. Okay, you know what? I think it's great that you're participating in the school elections and are active at such a young age. But I think that our school elections must not mirror what happens in national elections. School elections must mirror our school's values. But you know what? Because in the Philippines, we're exposed to the three Gs of Philippine elections. Guns, rules, and goals. Yes, but must that be the norm here in the school as well? I mean, you know what? Let's just show our community that the elections here in our school is the kind that we want for the rest of the country. You know, the kind of elections that we can be proud of as Filipinos. That is so true. And don't you remember what we learned in social studies class about the Constitution? Yeah, I remember that. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Miss. So today, we will be talking about suffrage. And you all know, that there are lots of reasons why we should go out and cast our votes. But before we do that, let me ask you this question. What part of the Constitution discusses suffrage? Miss. Yes. Miss, in the 1987 Philippine Constitution, specifically Article 5, it guarantees all Filipinos the right to suffrage, meaning that they can choose our national and local leaders as long as they meet the qualifications stated in the Constitution. I agree. Any other ideas, Miss? Yes. I believe that voting is a big influence on our government, right? Yeah. And suffrage empowers every Filipino in choosing who carries out the ideas of the nation and who protects the common good. I agree. Mean, yeah. Miss, how is voting a means towards change? Voting is a means towards change because when we vote, we choose the right people who would carry out the ideals of the nation so that we can better the state of our country. Miss, I think we all realize the importance of the vote. But Miss, here in the Philippines where corruption and cheating pervades, my parents don't even want to vote because they think that their vote doesn't matter anyway. Powerful people control the elections and whoever they want to win can win. That's true. And that's exactly why the Commission on Election proposed this so-called automated election system so that we can lessen or if not eradicate election cheating in our country. Well, Miss, I hope the automated election system actually makes a difference now since it's about time. I hope so. I pledge to be involved in the affairs of my nation. I pledge to be vigilant in this electoral process. I pledge to be an optimistic citizen. I will transform my nation through actions. I am committed to excellence for the good of my country. I vote with my heart. Live Jesus in our hearts. So, do you think fair elections are possible? Well, Miss, I share the hope with the whole Filipino nation that the automated election system does make a difference to ensure us a clean and fair election. You know what? Because at the end of the day, we have a stake in the national interest. We are concerned about the national affairs. Yes, Miss Phil, we can transform our nation. By voting, we make a choice. And that choice is to create a better future. I vote for intelligence. I vote for values. I vote for honor. I vote for transparency. I vote for zeal. With the automated election system, we have a chance at fair and clean elections. The precinct count optical scan machine will tally your votes and will electronically transfer the results from your precinct to the COMELEC. Before you vote on May 13, be prepared by going to your local COMELEC 
to search for your name and precinct number so that on election day, you can go directly to your precinct. Do not forget that on election day, you can vote from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. On the day of the election, present your ID to the Board of Election Inspector in your precinct. Upon verifying your identity, the BEI will give you a ballot containing the list of candidates in various vacant elective positions with a marker and a secrecy folder. Proceed to the voting area and make sure to prepare a list of the candidates you intend to vote for. This will make the process more efficient. Using a marker, shade the entire circle corresponding to your choice of candidate. Do not choose more than one candidate for a given position. No overvoting, because the PICOS machine will reject your ballot. After filling up the ballot, feed the form to the PICOS machine. The ballot will go straight to a transparent ballot box and wait for, Congratulations, your vote has been registered. Return the secrecy folder to the BEI and place indelible ink on your right pointer finger and place your thumb mark on the form.